Hey everybody, hope you're having a great week. We have made it, it is week eight. We are at our final countdown um, and hopefully uh, SA 3s revisions won't be too difficult for all of us and we can leave this week feeling good. Um, so congrats. Um, I don't know if all of you are as tired as I am, so if this seems a little brambly, I apologize, but I am very tired. <laughs> Looking forward to um, a little bit of a break, although I don't get one. I am doing summer classes, so I will see all of you who are doing summer classes there. Um, we have some questions in regards to our discussion this week, and uh, so I'm going to go a little interview style with myself. And uh, let's get started. So question one was, what is one thing you feel really confident in after this class and one thing you're still struggling with? Um, I feel pretty confident about the abstract concepts. Um, I was pretty nervous about them actually when I first started, but they went better than I thought. Um, I think once I, I just need to start writing. And once I started writing, um, it came out a lot better than I even expected. It to do. So um, I will say that was one thing that I feel pretty good about. The one thing that I struggled with, and hopefully it's gotten better, um, I think I, I think I got an idea about it a lot more, but um, was applying the concepts. I think at first I got it too much in my head that we cannot put new stories in there after the concrete information's been established, it's done, and everything else has to kind of flow based on that information. So I um, struggled with my applying concepts with new situations part. I probably just didn't pay attention to the new situations, but about by the time we did the second revision, the revision of the second essay, um, I kind of caught on that I need to show examples of while well, I'm mirroring the, you know, the abstract concepts and the learning outcomes, um, I'm showing examples of them. That's, my, that's like the concept of mirroring it. So that took me a while, probably longer than it should have, but hey, you know, it's not too bad. Um, second question. What were highlights or favorite aspects throughout the journey of this class? Um, I still enjoyed that I got a chance to write um, things that were my own idea. I didn't have to really fit into a box. I was nervous about that. Would they make me say, okay, you got to write a paper about business. You got to write a paper about psychology. You got to write a and like give specific categories. But I'm glad that I could just write um, life experience stories. Um, and events, and I didn't have to really succumb, although we were really being <laughs> adherent to a certain style. Um, I didn't have to be really adherent to a certain topic, and I really appreciated that. There was some freedom in that and gave me an ability. Um, I've had Michaela a few times now, and so I think I got to share more of the story that I didn't get to share in the first cl class that I took with her because we were limited by words. Um, so, that, that I enjoyed. Um, what surprised me, either from the content of the course or from the writing process itself? Um, I know we talked about this the other day, the emotions. Um, like I said, these are a lot of the events that I was writing about. I mean, one of them is more than 15 years old <laughs> when it happened. The other one's almost 10 years old when it happened. The other one is like five years old. Anyways, um, I I felt emotionally that I was, that it looked, that wouldn't be a problem. I just didn't expect that that would be something that would kind of um, stir up some, some previous struggles. And um, I don't know, I, I, I know we, like when we talked about it, there were some of you who kind of connected with, with this concept of it being more emotional. But I think for me, and it's not necessarily that I'm not reconciled with the events, um, I think I'm pretty reconciled with it. Um, I think it was just more of writing down what happened. I can talk about it all day long. Like, really, talk about it with no emotions at all. Probably less emotions than I should have when I talk about it. But when I wrote about it, um, I don't know, there was just something final about it. Something that's really putting it down in paper and 
it got real. Anyways, that was a surprise. Last question, what is one piece of advice you would give someone about starting this, about to start this course, now having gone through it yourself? I think the one thing that I wish I would have known coming into this is that we would hit the ground running. Um, I don't know what I expected, but I definitely didn't expect that within the first <laughs> the first week I was going to be writing down my learning outcomes and my topics, and the second week we would start our essay. Um, and I think it wasn't necessarily that I didn't expect that we'd start writing the first essay right away. I think it was that I didn't expect that all three ideas needed to be kind of more flushed out with learning outcomes within the first week. That was kind of a surprise. So for those of you who might um, be doing this class in the future, if you ever see this, think about your topics and your learning outcomes as ahead of time as you can, because that was a surprise at the end of the first week. They'll be like, oh no, I have to think of something for the next eight weeks. So. Anyways, um, just wanted to say I really, really enjoyed this uh, being in this class with all of you. Um, I don't know if it's just because you all are a great group, which you are, um, but also I think most of us have had the privilege of doing about three writing classes so far with each other, if not more from other places. Um, so just really wish the best for all of you. I really appreciate um, how vulnerable you all were willing to get and uh, it made, it helped me. It helped me know that I wasn't the only one who was struggling with some of those things or had struggled with some of those things and um, also opened some doors for me to just feel comfortable. So I know I went majorly over time, but looking forward to your own thoughts. Happy week eight, everybody. I wish the best for all of you if I don't run into you sometime in the near future. Have a good one.